Hey guys, this is Test 32 Game 4. This is the Puppies and Kittens game. It is an ordering game. We know that because we have exactly one kitten and exactly one puppy chosen on each of seven consecutive days. So we are placing the puppies and kittens in order from one through seven, and we're also assigning the puppies and kittens to each other on each of the days. Now I've laid out things a little bit here. I'll explain each of them. They tell us that G is on one, so I placed G on the one slot. No breed is on two consecutive days, so I drew XX with a slash through it. X referring to the breed, of course. One and seven do not ever have the same breed, so I drew one is not equal to seven. We have three H's, but H is not on one. We have R is not on seven, nor on any day with H, so H and R are never together. Now I've also placed that G is not on seven, because of the rule that one and seven never feature the same breed. Now, because seven has neither G nor R, we can infer that it must have N on the puppies level. We can also infer that because H does not have one based upon the fourth rule of the game, for that reason, we can infer that one will have to have either M or S regarding the kittens level. Now, in terms of additional inferences, because the same breed cannot be on two consecutive days, and we have n on seven, we can infer that six will have either g or r. And because one has to have g, two will have either n or r. So this is essentially our initial setup for the game, and we can now move on to the questions. So for question number 19, this is a general orientation question. We want to take one rule at a time and apply that rule. One more thing we can do, though, is because H is not on one, yet we have to have three H's and H's can never touch, we can actually map out or at least think about the different possibilities regarding the placement of H. Because H is not on one and they can't touch, H could be on two, four, six. It could be on two, four, and seven. It could be on two, five, and seven, or on three, five, seven. So two, four, six, two, four, seven, two, five, seven, or three, five, seven. So here are those different possibilities for H, the different placements for it. I would not actually create four different diagrams. That would take up far too much space and time. We can simply list them here and refer to them whenever necessary. So this is everything I would do before jumping into the game. Now question number 19 is our typical orientation question. We just want to take one rule at a time and apply that rule to all five choices looking for violations. So let's take, for example, the rule that one in seven can never feature the same breed. Of course, they're only regarding kittens in particular, but that's okay. So choice B has M on both one and seven that's, un that's unacceptable, for, so for that reason, B is eliminated. We also know that we can never have the same breed on two consecutive days based upon the second rule of the game. So let's run through the choices looking for violations there, and we find that choice D has Siamese S on two consecutive days. It's tricky how they put S at the end of one line and the beginning of the next. Those are still consecutive, of course, so D is eliminated. We can also take the information that we have to have exactly three H's, hoping for any violations there. Choice C has only two H's, not three. So for that reason, C is eliminated. We also know that H can never be on one, and we have H on one in choice A. So A is eliminated, leaving E as our answer for number 19. Next, number 20, if H is not on two. So in our possibilities for H, that only leaves us with H on 3, 5, and 7, so I would make a new local diagram specifically mapping out those possibilities. Now because we have H on 3, we know we are not going to have H on 2. So for that reason, we will have either S or M on 2, whichever did not appear on 1. So either 1 is M, 2 is S, or 1 is S, 2 is M, and then we have H on 3. And of course we cannot have R whenever we have H. So in this particular instance, we will not have R on either three or five. 
So let's just jump into the choices based upon this regarding what could be true. A, M on three, no, we have H on three, of course, A is eliminated. B, S on four, that seems perfectly fine, no reason to think it couldn't happen, let's leave that alone for now and move on. R on five, no, because R and H are never on the same day and we have H on five, C is gone. D, H on six, no H is on both five and seven, and we, those are the only H's in the game, so for that reason, D is gone. And E, G on seven, no, G is never on seven, that was an initial inference based upon the rule that one and seven could not have the same breed. E is gone, leaving B as our answer for number 20. Next, number 21, general could be true question. We have our main diagram here. Let's just make use of that as we run through the choices. So A, G, and S both on two. No, of course, we have N or R on two, not G, so A is gone. B, e, G, and H both on seven. No, G is never on seven, initial inference. B is gone. C, R and H both on four. R and H are never together, that was an initial rule, so C is gone. D, R and M both on five. That seems perfectly fine, no reason to think it couldn't happen, let's leave that alone for now, and eliminate E, which says that N and M both on six. No, we can never have N on six, we have either G or R on six, so E is gone, leaving D as our answer by process of elimination for 21. Next, number 22. If H is never on seven, if H is not on seven in this case, our possibilities for H tell us that H is on two, four, six in that particular instance. So I'll lay that out right here, H on two, H on four, and H on six. Now if H is on six, R cannot be on six because H and R are never together. So we can now infer that G will be on six. And once again, because H and R are never together, R will not be on two. So we have H, N on two, H, G on six. Now, they're asking us which pair of days cannot feature both the same breed of kitten and same breed of puppy. Now, it turns out that the only days we know about fully regarding both kitten and puppy are day two and day six. And we know that those have to have different matchups. They cannot be identical, and they are not identical here overall. They're identical with regard to the kittens being H, but not with regard to the puppies being N and G. So B is our answer for number 22. Next, number 23, general could be true question. Now, A is especially difficult to evaluate. That is a rather abstract concept. So for that reason, I want to approach this by elimination, hoping to get rid of B, C, D, and E, and hoping that A will be left with A by process of elimination. So let's skip A for now. Now, B is saying that we have H whenever we have G. Now, however, the problem is that we know that H is always on either two, seven, or both based upon our initial possibilities for H, yet we never have G on either two nor seven. On two, we have either N or R. On seven, we have to have N. G never appears on those days, so B is actually impossible. C, H is featured whenever G is that means G requires H. However, if you look at number one, we have G there, yet we do not have H. So for that reason, C is not actually possible and is eliminated. D, H whenever we don't have R, meaning not R requires H. However, if you look at you know, our possibilities, we lack R on one, we never have R on one, yet we do not have H on one either, so this actually is not possible, is gone. E, R happens whenever H does not, meaning not H requires R. However, we lack H on one, yet we do not have R on one. So for that reason, E is eliminated, leaving A as our answer for number 23. Now as for why A could be true, A actually works because we could have four breeds each going on three different days and then having another breed going on two days. Or we could have two breeds each going only once. So for that reason, A is possible and our answer to number 23. Next, number 24, if H is not on seven. Same diagram we had for number 22. If H is not on seven, H will have to be on two, four, or six based upon our possibilities for H. So H on two, H on four, 
H on six. Of course, when H goes on those days, R cannot go on those days. So we're left with HN on two and HG on six. R cannot be on four, but we do not know specifically what will be there right now. Anyway, they're asking us what could be true. So could we have G on both three and five? We cannot have G on both three and five because we already have G on six and that would violate the rule that breeds going consecutively. So for that reason, A is eliminated. B, N on three, that can't work because N has to be on two in this case, so B is gone. C, R on six, no, we specifically have to have G on six, so C is gone. D, R only on day three, no particular reason to believe that couldn't work, especially because we cannot have R on four, so we're not gonna run into trouble there. It looks okay for now. E, R on exactly three days. That would be R on three, four, and five, violating the rule regarding consecutive breeds, and of course, violating the rule that R cannot be on four, given that H is on four. So E is eliminated, leaving D's our answer for number 24.